Hi everyone, um, and we're back with the Dungeon Alchemist. Uh, I'm just gonna fill around a bit, and uh, no, I'm actually not. <laughs> um, we did that in the first impression. What I want to do today is uh, actually um, build a functional dungeon which uh, isn't that big. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a bit... Um, Getting around to playing more with the with the actual um, with the actual idea of dungeon maker, see what it can and can't do, uh, how different uh, things work. For example, I'm using the crypt because it doesn't generate um, windows on the uh, wall. So if I want to have like an underground dungeon, like this time, um, the crypt doesn't generate windows as far as I can see, or it doesn't do many. And I have to delete it manually anyway. Um, yeah, also I'm starting with AI off because the first few uh, the first few uh, rooms that I want to make are just uh, uh, just just uh, the the hallways basically, and uh, they should be empty so players can actually move. So. Let's start right here. This is where we start. Um, I'll do the all the uh, exits and um, entrances manually later. So uh, yeah. So what's what is actually cool is like you can um, move multiple uh, points. Uh, you can you can you can. Mark multiple um, multiple uh, faces before you um, before you make the room, and uh, if you do, then he connects them to one big room. For example, I want to have a uh, I want to have a hallway here. That splits into two different sections, like this, like this, like this. Okay, this is now one big hallway, and as you can see, there's actually no uh, windows, which is exactly what we want. Okay, this is the more or less. This is more or less the basic layout um, of what we're going with here. This is this is really just the the spaces. The, um, uh, this is just the hallway. This is just the corridors. Um, the the group will later walk in. Now we're in the actual room, so AI goes back off, uh, back on, and we're starting with a burial chamber. This is. Four by one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yes. And as you can see, we're already having a few uh, things inside lights, which I will probably delete because uh, this is underground and unused for yeah centuries probably. And yeah, there's another hallway that connects to this with a twist. It'll be a hidden hallway. So, uh, unless people watch, uh, unless, unless, unless the players would watch the stream or watch the, no, not the stream, would watch the uh, video, they don't actually know about that. Okay. Treasury? So, this will. Probably yeah, it generates one window, which I can delete later. Oh, uh, actually, I want to have AI on because I want to have a treasury in here. Okay. So back to the crypt. We have a burial chamber. Um, I want some kind of uh, library. 
this is uh, actually a really cool feature too that you can just uh, wait that you can just combine the different uh, room tiles like that. Okay, it has uh, windows again, which is fine. And now we have different chapels. Let's let's see how each let's let's just check how each chapel looks in the end. Okay. Okay. Kinda, yeah, I don't know. Crypt has a chapel. Let's see how this one looks. Okay. So it comes with a Okay, and this one doesn't. So let's do the let's do the castle chapel and just roll a few times. Let's see. Uh so we'll definitely have to go in there and uh, add a few elements from ourselves. Okay. Uh, may want to have may may want to add another room later on. Um let's just see. Okay. No, not really. I should probably uh, make the doors right now. Uh, I want an arc, I want the double arc, I want the players to actually uh, be able to... Actually, I want to show you something that I found yesterday. So. I'll just uh, delete at least these and this one obviously. So let's just kill all the doors I don't want. Okay. Uh, so far so good. Okay. Uh, here I want an arc. Now the feature that I found is place walls and you have the option to remove walls. It's a bit, it's a little bit tricky. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Okay, then let's delete the windows right here and right there. This is a window. Actually, uh, okay, let's go to room, this one, and re roll. Okay, this is okay ish. This looks like the what kind of library I want. Treasury, could we could use a re roll? Oh wait, I need to actually uh, add the door. And I have I found one that I really like for this. Just need to find, oh yeah, right. Yes, big door. And now we're going to reroll this room because now he actually, uh, the, the, the software now actually looks where is the door and leaves it open so it doesn't get cluttered. Uh, I don't want the arc thing in there. Uh, that was, that was. Okay, this looks like this stuff is really important, no. Yeah, obviously if I have a smaller room he can't just roll it that good. So he does. He um, the, the the software has lots less options to uh, just put stuff up. This is okay. This is this is okay. Okay, great hall. Let's re-roll it once. Okay. Yes. I'll need the space in the middle. Um.
so yeah now he rerolls it with the with the uh with the door in respect uh, in respect to the door and this is uh, not not quite what i want this is okay this is this is good i like this okay uh we've got almost all the rooms rolled like I imagine them. Okay, yes, this is okay. A bit more detail. Okay. And crypt hallway. Okay, uh, not quite, dear game, <clears throat> because we have in the castle. Let's see. I want the the uh, room with the instruments, armory, barracks, bedroom, brewery, dungeon, thro throne room. No, uh, mansion, bathroom, cellar, dining room. Laboratory, living room, living room, why not? Let's see. Okay, let's uh, re-roll that in a, a bit. Actually, yes, much better. Now let's see how he I think I'll just empty that one and make it by hand. Okay. No need for any windows underground. Okay, got oh yes yeah, yeah, there is some windows. Okay. So uh, this is the basic layout. Uh, where do the players start? Uh, I need stairs up. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take this room and I'm gonna edit rooms. No, I'm gonna. Remove this. Okay. And I want this one. Okay. So players get down here. I still a I don't want to. So what I did yesterday actually was I showed a few friends of the dungeon that I made. I, I, I Build dungeon after the video. Um, test uploaded to found it worked really, really good. It was, yeah, it was perfect. Like a uh, lightning moth in there. Um, so lights were in there. Um, the uh, all the uh, walls were in there. All the uh, doors were in there. And uh, it was really, really, it, it was a great experience um, to just show it, to just uh, see that I can make a dungeon in, in minutes if I need to, or that I can take time and make this actually, uh, uh, actually really cool. So, um, I always want a bit of story in my dungeon, a little, a little bit of, of, of interesting stuff in my dungeon. So, we're going to edit this a bit via the platforms right okay so center of this of the whole room is a platform this is obviously the um, the central room this is the players get in here really quick um and this is where basically I don't know, this is the center room. I want this to have attention uh, to to play a big role. So, um, a burial chamber, 
I have a not really defined room, which is about instruments. I have a chapel and I have a <coughs> and I have a library. So um, this pedestal also has four symbols. Let's uh, use it and play a bit around. Uh, I want no, I want uh, utility uh, library. So on this side of the pedestal is a scroll, which means the group will need a scroll. There's multiple scrolls, or there will be multiple scrolls in this room. Okay, no, this is just this is just not the right table. No, this is a little too big. Dum dum dum. And each of these will have a scroll on them. So option one for the players is to pay really really good attention and check out the scroll there or they will most likely pick up the wrong scroll which will force them uh, into a fight. So basically pick the wrong scroll and enter a fight. Like uh, uh, mechanic number one, pick the wrong scroll, get in a fight. So, uh, also I need to delete most of these slides. Oh wait, I can just turn them off. This is even better, wait. So, uh, there's like century old This is actually really redundant. The essential old uh, torches on the walls, which just don't uh, burn anymore. Uh, nobody bothered putting new in, putting new uh, torches in for uh, thousands, for hundreds of years, probably. Why is there a candle just randomly on the floor? Who? Why? <clears throat> Who would do such a thing? Okay, interesting. The treasury doesn't have any lights. <clears throat> okay. So, next. They need a skull from the... They need a skull from within these graves. One, uh, obviously, there's two graves. Uh, perfect. It's one, one woman, one man. This is this is really. Do I have a closed one with a man? Scroll, 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 scroll. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Looks like uh, the male. Are always open. Okay, so uh, yeah, two graves, two skulls. Only one of the right one, and uh, I'm not gonna let them have a uh, I'm not uh, if they pick the wrong one. Uh, it's not gonna be a fight because this just would be redundant and boring. <laughs> So instead, I'm gonna think of a different mechanic. Maybe it's a curse. Um, maybe the ritual in the in the middle uh, fails, or uh, maybe if they pick the right one at the beginning, this this hidden door will open or something. So like, um, if you pay attention to the ritual and to the middle end and um, investigate enough, you can pick the right skull and actually get to the treasure, or uh, maybe. Uh, you know what? I have that idea. Uh, where are these skulls in here? I have a cool idea. Uh, okay, skull one, skull two. 
structure column no platforms okay these are too big uh, Wait, where, where's the chapel stuff? Uh, idea. I put into. Wait, can I? Can I? Can I like? Okay, put, I can put them on the. Uh, on the on the grave, which is a bit sad. Uh, is it furniture? Yes, religious. Uh, no, not damn. Cooking, brewer, house, treasure, carpenter, painter, tailor, robots, weapons, decoration, new up. No. Food and drink. No furniture. Counters. This is not what I want. Benches, cupboards, desks. So I'm looking for some some kind of uh uh yes here right a font. Oh, there's water inside. Okay, this is not quite. So I'm looking for something like that, but maybe without water. Um, well, you know what? There's a big altar in here. Okay, so if they um if they place the skulls at the at the right um in the graves first the secret passage opens and uh afterwards they uh need to take one of them and it doesn't matter one which one to the to the middle to the uh, ritual chamber so this room uh will be probably maybe dealing with magic uh this all looks kind of cool and magical but not really what i'm looking for treasure weapons armor blacksmith dungeon Farming tools, not really. Uh. <clears throat> so there is this, uh, this little horn, this big horn. And in it, uh, imprinted on it will will be a melody. So one of the characters who maybe knows how to perform has to play this on his on the on this harp, and there will be traps in the wall. So whenever they play a wrong note, the or when when they don't play it right, when they don't pay attention, when they just Play around with the, uh, with the with the instrument. Oh, wait, can I can I make this bigger? Yes, but it's actually not that impressive. Okay, so uh, I look into how to how to decorate this room. Ooh, this looks neat. I want more of these somewhere wall lights let's see what we have um. okay and we obviously need some benches in here stone benches why not Uh, 
of the instrument is there. Okay, so traps. Uh, <clears throat> and last but not least, the chapel. They need to retrieve. Oh, wait, now I can use the alchemy stuff. Where's the alchemy stuff? Idea. Uh, there's a cauldron. Do I have an empty cauldron? I want an empty cauldron, <laughs> actually. If possible. Okay, this would work, I think. Uh, bath, not really. Uh, screens, mirrors, ponds. Uh, ah, these all look totally cool. I mean, this is awesome, obviously. Ah. <sighs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. <coughs> uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, wrong. Utility. Okay, they're not, there's no difference between them. Um, yeah, then I will use the petal and I will place an empty flask next to it. I don't have an empty flask. Why, do why don't I have an empty flask? I have something like um, farming tools. No, I don't. Why don't I have any empty flasks? This is... Wait, housekeeping tools. Maybe, maybe I'm... No. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, how? How do we do this? You know what? Uh, making it even more obvious. There is a chalice. It's a big chalice. And it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be movable. So the chalice is, is put into the, or onto the, um, onto the uh, platform and in the chapel there will be many many flasks a green vial a red one two red ones obviously uh, three blue ones Two orange ones, a vial holder, and they have to pick the right one. And I have to think about what, um, what happens if they don't. What happens if they pick the wrong vial here? Interesting idea. Interesting. So, and if they have all four ingredients, they can basically summon uh, um, the... the th so, there's a reason they are here. They're looking for an, an, an elemental uh, guardian, and it's not there. And they stumble upon, or they, they're probably coming down here, and they find a few uh, looters and robbers, people who... <coughs> um, yeah, who just use this place as a hideout uh, for a short time something like that and they're not keen on exploring they basically they just uh, uh, sit on the on the top floor so there will be a top floor um, which I will not show today and uh, if they get through the top floor they get in this uh, forgotten abandoned uh, area maybe there's some litter maybe maybe the uh, bandits didn't use it or didn't want to use it uh, for whatever reason, or they didn't, they, they, they didn't, they were scared to go down there, I don't know. Uh, I have to make that up later, I have to design that later. Okay, but now, um, this looks all really interesting and neat, but as you can see, um, one problem, I don't have enough lights, which I can fix right now. I mean, I don't really need the lights because I will turn them off 
anyway. Okay, here is light, uh, here should be light. Oh, you know what? Um, there's treasure hunters down here. Others who want the same treasures. Who just want to plunder the place, who, who don't care for whatever they're here and they are very hostile because they are... They're thinking that uh, the players who come here, the player characters, uh, just want to want to steal their treasure. Maybe they're even they're slavers. They this is this is basically uh, the slave traders and uh, yeah, they're currently uh, not really employable, so they are trying to loot. Give me a second. Okay, so, um, and now we're going to make, uh, of <coughs> I'm sorry again, um, of all this mess we're going to make one, uh, one interesting uh dungeon so first of all what what kind of uh yes but actually no i'm just gonna pause and real quick and and uh get a handkerchief a tissue okay so this is not really what I was going for. I wanted to look um, a bit more refined than that. This looks kind of good. Um, what I find uh, important is that you have a rather uh, that, that the ground is is um, either really really dark, so you can see stuff better, or what is even what I like even more is it's it's really really bright it's like it's like a light a uh, bright uh color like this um so that um so that you can see the the overlay better that it's easier to see and that it doesn't distract that much okay and the walls uh i don't like these walls at all also, the different ones, so we're gonna fix that. Um, place walls. Let's see. Stone. Arcade. Okay, this is really, really interesting and cool. Dove. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, no. Sandstone. Kinda yes. I would like this in a in a in a in a, in a more yellow color. Okay, what do we get? Plaster. Ah, not really. Hey. <laughs> yes. Look into the void. Uh. Nah. Ah, uh, kinda, but. I'll try this one. <laughs> Look into the void. Uh, okay, let's try this one. And as you can see, if I'm clicking on the ground in the room, it changes the walls on the inside. So I have outside walls and inside walls. And on the outside, I will take a uh, dark um, if, I, if I basically 
have her in the in the in the area of this on the outside I will get the uh I will get a different wall. So I have inside and outside walls with this which is uh really really cool. Because it also means I can like um have have a uh have a room that has um <clears throat> um okay yeah um i can have a room that has like um walls that are wood on the inside but the outside is obviously uh um good uh so solid uh 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 stone wall so uh this is a really cool thing okay and there we have it. Uh, finish dungeon. Start. Uh, what I can't do is, is put in monsters here. This is fine. I can do this in the foundry. Um, but yeah, this is a base dungeon. Uh, got your starting area. Got the central room, which is uh, the plot device. And what I actually don't like, what I, what I try to, to avoid is dungeons where you just go in one direction. Where you either have a serpentine or... We have a big circle or you just go in one direction until you're done this is not really what well. sometimes it's interesting and fun and can be usable but most of the time it's not that engaging because in this case i come into the, the basically um players come into this big room players are engaged like okay what is this 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 looks interesting this looks important it's in the center of the room um Sometimes play players will go and say, okay, let's explore. Let's check out everything out. Now, okay, we have like a complete map of this. We have an idea what this looks like. Um, and Okay, uh, what do we do now? We, we, we've seen everything. We've seen the library. Maybe we picked up a scroll and fought something. So we know that picking them up is dangerous. Um... Maybe we drank one of the vials in this, uh, for example, if they drink the right vial as a game master, I just say, okay, uh, it was the wrong one, I, I pick another one, but just the right one, and um, change the hint subtly if they didn't find it yet, or, or um, uh, retcon everything I thought and, and, and said, and, and say, no, wait, I was wrong, uh, I totally meant red instead of green, I, I, I misspoke, uh, my bad, uh, yeah. Uh, so sometimes you have to just deal with stuff like that. Um, you know, so sometimes people will, the players will just see, okay, what I'm doing with the middle and where I'm going with this. Sometimes people will explore and see every room, um, and just do random stuff. And yeah, so we're gonna export that foundry export limited perspective. Okay, I can basically do this, which gives it a little bit more depth can do the auto uh, um, the autographic top down so basically everything is really in order i can do the limited perspective which is uh what i prefer i guess yeah what i prefer so render lights in uh, in image and export to vdt i can say okay um can say okay only give me the lights in the image but don't export them or I can say okay fuck the lights and just uh, and export them to VTT <coughs> and I can of course change the quality <coughs> I can even turn the grid off um can say okay I want a uh, other color grid I can even make this uh, better or less visible okay Okay, so maybe I put it off because, um, no, I leave it on. Uh, okay. Um, this is not the air dungeon. This is the guardian summoning mini dungeon because, you know. Okay. Um, just to quickly show you what I get. What I get is the image. And this is the base image you also use as an underlay for 
the uh, forge or for whatever um, you use so if I export this for example as let's say well 20 export which is another uh, also free site um, gives me a txt map uh, gives me a txt uh, it gives me a jpeg which is the same jpeg basically so uh, as you can see this is the same jpeg um, and it gives me a very very complex txt file anyhow that's it for today i hope you liked it if you have ideas suggestions um don't leave them with me leave them with uh, the dungeon alchemist crew at their discord and thanks for watching stay healthy stay uh safe and see you guys around okay so exporting if you've finished your dungeon file export you have multiple options well 20 export foundry export a few other image only whatever i'm trying roll 20 um to explain i don't have roll 20 on paid i have a free subscription so i have i don't have all features so i'm not sure if i have the import map feature uh, available to me i have three op options for perspective you can say you have a more 3d look uh, limited 3D walls, which makes them a bit bigger, but still give a good grid. And autographic top-down, which I will use today. Um, I can render lights in image and export them to the uh, virtual tabletop, which uh, gives adds uh, light to the map. I learned, uh, you might, might want to use this if you have... Uh, um, uh, subscription to Roll20, but I don't know about that. Um, I say only render lights and image. The quality is how many dots per inch you want to have. And grid, you can put it off, which I probably would suggest on this point. You can also turn it on, and you can see that the actual map is bigger than the grid, which could become a problem um, you have to align in, in this case I would have to align the grid <coughs> with the grid on on uh, roll 20 uh, you can even change the color of the grid and you can change the transparency of the grid making this more or less intrusive okay then you click export um, it asks for a uh, folder and yeah, Guardian Mini Dungeon. Uh, it gives you TXT file. Interesting. Raw twenty has TXT import data. So we're going to save that. Okay. And then we're going over to the actual. Uh, roll 20 and you see I've already pr um, prepped some uh, filters so you don't have to you, so you don't uh, can't see any, uh, any uh, everything um, yeah option one is I have another window w uh, another window pops up with all your uh, with all your exported files so uh, guardian mini dungeon is in here too with a JPEG this is the JPEG that we uh, exported just now. And option one, I can just pull this over here. From, so I just I just drag and drop that to the, uh, I just uh, drag and drop the the uh, JPEG to the to the forge. And now the tedious process of. Uh, Putting that into place uh, starts. This is not what I wanted. Uh, and now I have to see it if I matched the grid to the uh, uh, 
uh, if the grid is matching the uh, Hello? Okay, so as you can see, this is obviously not the right uh, size. I mean, I can resize the uh, the avatars to some extent, but obviously I can't. And yeah, this is not really what we want. So we have to, so I'd have to resize this uh, from scratch. Uh, what I don't know is if there is any kind of uh, of import for uh, for the for the uh, txt file. So I have this, but um, I have no idea how to apply this. Uh, this is something I can't tell you. What I can show you is how this works with uh, Foundry in a bit. Okay, here we are in the foundry, as you can see, and I just say create new scene. Uh, giving it a name. And next I just say import data. Uh, looking for the uh, JSON file and say import and he creates the scene which we'll go to right now and at first it looks empty you can see a few shaders and if you check the walls all the walls are here Um, what we do, what we have to do is, we have to actually, uh, implement the files. You do that by uploading the same JPEG that we used earlier. I uploaded it via the um, asset upload button, and. Now that I save it, he he should add the background image. So right here, uh, all the walls are implemented, the texture is there, and if we take any character, you can see that the grid is aligned and that the uh, scene uh, it's automatically set the fog to war and token vision only, obviously. So this is a standard. And in this case, the character has dark vision, so he doesn't need any of the torches. And you can see that he can freely move through the dungeon. But whenever I come uh, to a wall, I can't, I can't skip to the wall. So this is. Uh, Part of that. If I, as a, a game master, force him through here, there's also the door, and this can be opened or closed. So um, he also includes all doors as doors. And if we check the light, ah, uh, okay. Uh, I can even turn on the lights, which doesn't really make any difference for the character. <clears throat> because you can see in the dark. But uh, yeah, lights are also imported from, uh, from Dungeon Alchemist. And that's it so far for the uh, import and export of Dungeon Alchemist. So thanks for watching and stay healthy, stay safe and see you guys around.